All right, doctors, we're here with Tom Kane from the Invisible Fence Company, and he's done an awesome job around the property. Hi, boy. That's a good boy. During training, right. when the collar beeps, you feel a little something. Yep, okay, good. After your dog is contained safely in the yard, it's going to beep ahead of time. For the first training, all we're going to do is walk Max up to the flies so Max knows there's something happening, walk away from the fence, safely back into the safe zone, praise Max, and walk around the yard. It's very okay. simple. Hey, Max. Come on, boy. Come on, Max. Let's go. Let me give a green and share the beauty that you never have seen. We'll start a fire and we'll drink some wine. Can you think of a better way to spend your time? That screen shows you, Kevin, the, yep. uh, the count. That's how many times Max went near the fence since the last time that I was here. Okay, you were here, what, 10.9 10, 10. days ago, right? Good Max. You can see he wanders over close butterflies. He's not that afraid of it, but he's respectful of it. Mm -hmm. As we go on the other side, how he avoids the bounces. We're going to leave him on that long leash for about another week. The reason why we leave him on the long leash is every time he's experienced the sensation near the invisible fence, he's had a leash on. He doesn't know what's causing it. In his mind, it could be the flags, it could be the leash causing it. So we're going to leave him on the long leash for safety for about another week, then we're going to go to a short leash. After the short leash, we go to off leash. After off-leash, you start removing the flags. Okay. That's how easy it is. 